Hi, hi everybody. My name is Alex and um, welcome on my cha channel. I make on this channel videos about different subjects, mainly about language learning and about, uh, about s s s stammering. But um, I started most recently the, the idea of making weekly videos about my two I would say current biggest projects that I'm kind of working on um, or well I have three big projects one is my master thesis which I have to finish by the end of May and my other two is one is pre preparing for the CFA program that I will be writing on the 6th of June and uh, the third big one is learning Japanese now I started already putting up on my channel once a week a video where I speak in Jap Japanese uh, in order to show my prog progress. Um, I've been I wanted to do this because I want to be publicly accountable for the progress that I've been making in my Jap Japanese and so that I can prove uh, the progress that I've been making. But let's not talk too too much uh, much about that because it's not re relevant for for this video. And now I also decided to make uh, weekly videos, or maybe even twice a week because one week is quite quite long, about my progress in preparing for the CFA. Um, today is fifth of March. Is it the fifth of March? Yeah, and. That means that there are only three months left to the CFA exam and so far I have prepared very, very little. I have invested maybe 12 hours into it. Um, people say that you should invest around 300 hours. I've only invested 12 so far. That means 288 hours left. Um, that is around 100 hours a month, which is around three hours a day which is doable so far today. I've invested around one hour into studying for the CFA, but if I want to do it three hours a day until June, um, it's not gonna be easy. It sounds easy because three hours sounds like doable, but it's a lot of time uh, since I also have to do a lot of other things. Uh, so what what have I done so far? I've been working on the first book. The sorry for the camera here. I've been working on the book number one, ethical and professional standards and quantitative methods. I've been going through the first study session, which is basically um, which is ethics. Uh, the first session is ethics. I've not completed it. To to totally, but I've been reading about the you know code of ethics, uh, ethical standards, and pro pro professional standards. I did that already a month ago, or even more, one and a half month months ago. And then I thought, okay, I don't need to know it per perfectly now. I would rather go on to study session two and come back to it later in order to get it better because that's kind of a method that I also use with language learning not try to learn everything perfectly or right away but you know get the better get more of an overview so now I'm working on study session two and I'm just going through everything and trying to answer all the questions and then soon I will start with quantum Study session three, common probability distributions. That's what it's called. Um, now, it's all not all new to, to me since I'm doing a master's in at Stockholm School of e Economics and I'm, I've had courses in uh, co corporate finance, economic statistics and so on. So cal cal calculating bond prices and uh, statistics and so on is not completely new to me. And um, yeah, I, there is another task maybe that I would like to work on, which is investing. I would like to practice investing. I invested in the stock market a lot last year uh, and then stopped after uh, after I made some some losses 
uh, some major ones, but I would like to practice that again. I would like to start following the stock market and investing. Uh, but I really don't have time for, for that. That's something that I will be doing perhaps after June. Something that I can start doing after June, yeah. But anyway, um, if you are also studying for the C CFA and you're interested um, in my in seeing how I progress, you can su su subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a new video probably every four days. And um, for every video, I want to show that I've made pro progress. I want to show that I have gone further. And um, I hope that this really helps me. I hope making these pub public announcements will help me to uh, achieve, to improve and study in a much more efficient way. So let's let's get to, to work. Let's start working. See you soon. Thank, thank, thank you for listening.